right. He could do the hold of play. He could pretty much do it all. So if you're going to rely on your outside backs to get forward and be effective. Yeah. On the flip side, Bradley Carnell makes seven changes to his St. Louis City side from Tuesday. St. Louis, the new kids on the block, got off to an incredible start with five straight wins. And away we go from Soldier Field in Chicago. It's broken up. It falls to Herbers, who switches it over to the left-hand side. Dynamic young midfielder, Brian Gutierrez. Back to Shakiri. Back to Gutierrez. He goes down to the penalty area. Shakiri. It falls to Kamara. Kamara kick save by Berkey. And what a save it was. They want to see a goal early. And we saw right away the combination play between Gutierrez and Shakiri. This ball gets served back across. Kai Kamara takes a perfect first touch. Going for the back post there, low driven on the ground. Roman Berkey with a big time save. Corner number two. Here's Jimenez serving it in, looking for Kamara, and he puts it on frame once again. This one a more comfortable save for Berkey. Kai Kamara sitting on 143 Major League Soccer goals. End to end stuff here at Soldier Field. Leuven and a diving save by Brady, and it's behind for a corner. Get forced Chris Brady into a big time save there. Cuts it back on that right boot. It's dipping. He talked about his set piece ability, his ability to strike the ball. How often, he, how quickly can they play off each other? We just saw four passes right there. Beautiful. And what a ball from Shakiri. Herberts measuring up a shot. Another diving save by Roman Berkey. Berkey has come up massively for St. Louis twice already to keep this match scoreless. And here comes St. Louis the other way. Vasilev putting it across just past the outstretched boot of Joachini. Look at this combination play. It started on the left-hand side between the two players we were just talking about. Shakiri being stretchered off. But man, he was down for quite a bit. We are told that the header turned toward goal. Relatively comfortable save for Chris Brady have a claim on the fact that they should be up a man but as it stands it's nil nil and 11 v 11 and here comes a set piece driven into the back post Shehos turns it home right off the bench and right on the score sheet one nil Chicago I to have Shehos get on the end of it with his head as he curls it around the back line but instead he's reaching for it with that left boot outside of the left boot it just trickles past the arms of Roman Berkey, past the boot, past the foot, into that back post side netting. And Chicago find themselves up 1-0 in the first half. They've been combining well in the midfield to create those chances, particularly up the right-hand side. Ooh, here's another nasty collision. This time, Suke is the man. Because he knows someone is running into that space, if that makes sense. He is a quick player. But here's a giveaway. St. Louis coming forward and a diving save by Brady to deny Celio Pompeo. And not a great play there. And it's Jimenez once again, just really un unfortunate for him and unlikely for him to make two turnovers in the first half that nearly cost his team. And Chris Brady coming up massive here because Suke has to get that right. He knows he can't commit the foul penalty. Signing autographs, he played for St. Louis. He played, I'm sorry, he played college at St. Louis. And then, of course, a, a Chicago native finished his career here in Chicago where his. Disconnected right now when they try to go forward. Shakiri calling for it. Left hand side, Gutierrez. He drives it for Kamara. Kamara leaves it for Herbers, who bangs it off the crossbar. That thing went off the crossbar. Something Callum Williams is used to me punching him in the arm all the time. But a great ball out to the left hand side. And what a touch by Kai Kamara. Are you kidding me? In Major League Soccer. A crunching tackle this time. Joachini is going to receive a booking. Pat Pompeo. Just over the bar, off the foot of Leuven. They knew could fit into the culture right away. They wanted to build this team as a group, not based on one individual or more. Vasilev is the man down, and there's going to be a booking. 
and this is for persistent infringement. Kamara heads this one away. And this is going to be a booking. And I don't think you need all of these Chicago players surrounding the referee like that. It is a second yellow card. And this ball goes in, and it's really well won defensively there. Gets over the first defender. Gutierrez does a great job taking a clever touch just around John Nelson, who clearly makes the tackle. I mean, not only does he get him and, and thwarts an attack, he kind of has his studs up and comes down across and scrapes Gutierrez's shin. So you just hope that Gutierrez is OK, but it's the second yellow regardless. Red card, John Nelson now, Bradley Carnell having a discussion. And let's remember, Bartlett is still dealing with cramping. And now they're a man down defensively. What is he going to do from a tactical stand? Him to score goals as well. And he has the wherewithal, the dummy, that one. Navarro putting it in. Shabilko! 2-0 Chicago! The flag came up for offside. Yep. And he was offside. Not by a lot, but I think more importantly to me, it. Shakiri right on the halfway line. He finds Kutsius. Kutsius, left footed effort. Punched away by Berkey. And that should just about do what you would think in this one. And in fact, it does. There is the final whistle. 